Hello, welcome to Devonshire Road Year 2's Meet the Teacher presentation for those that were unable to attend. So to start off, who will my child be working with this year? So I'm Mrs Clarkson, you can see me there on the picture. Um, I'm the Year 2 teacher of 2C, I'm also um, the English lead for school. And we've got... I'm Mrs Fazakali and I'm the other Year 2 teacher and I am the DT lead for school. And we've also got Mrs Kramer who will be primarily based in 2C. She works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and we've got Mrs Durkin who's here all week. Uh, based in 2F at the start of the week and we've also got Mrs Lawson who will be working in year 2 in the afternoon and Mrs Guy and Mrs Stanley who will be working across both classes. Okay, so, some important information for our week. Um, so in year 2 we do indoor PE on a Wednesday, um, we'll have outdoor PE on a Friday afternoon, um, obviously that's weather dependent. Um, we have a spelling test on a Friday, so spellings will be sent out the week before and we'll have a spelling test on that Friday, so we'll have a whole week to practice their spellings and we'll send homework out on a Friday as well, um, that is, we'll be doing a week later. Um, so this is our curriculum overview. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail now, but you're welcome to have a look at it on our website. Um, it will tell you all the information of everything that we'll be studying um, across the subjects, across the year, um, and when we'll be covering different things. So you're welcome to go and access that on our website. Okay, so um, in year two we do go on quite a number of trips. Um, the first one that we'll be visiting is the Albert Hall in Bolton in December. We'll be going to the pantomime. I'm not sure which one it is at the moment, but we'll let you know as soon as we know. Um, and then after that, we've got a, a trip in the spring, which is an ice skating trip. Um, and then two potential trips in the summer um, to Bridgewater Gardens, which is a science-based trip. And then a visit to the beach um, at Living St Anne's. Um, just like all the other year groups as well, we do some termly stay and play and parent workshops um, and we hope that we'll see lots of your faces there for those as well. Okay, so here's uh, a look at some of the books we'll read this year. Um, so we've got lots of high quality texts that we use at Devonshire Road School. So here are some of the texts that we'll be looking at in English um, and across some of the subjects possibly as well. Um, and you'll find out more of those we'll have to share things on Twitter as well. Okay so here is the reading expectation. So in Key Stage 1 we ask uh, parents and carers to read with their child um, for at least 15 minutes at least three times a week um, and if they can sign their diary as well because reading is the most important aspect of homework and it should be the priority so if you know if you've got a really busy weekend or a busy time and you're struggling to fit in doing the homework sheet or going on EdShed Definitely make sure, if nothing else, the reading that you read at least three times a week um, because, you know, reading helps them access the whole curriculum. So supporting child with their reading will look very different for individual children and across the different year groups. So if your child's um, perhaps you know, not confident with blending, you'll be helping them with the phonics. Or if your child is a confident reader, then, you know, you can be helping them with fluency and starting to read longer texts uh, and comprehension, etc. Okay. Just a quick slide about reading volunteers. So we have uh, parents and carers are welcome to come into school um, to read. We'd love you to come in and read with some children across the school and help them. Um, and it's a nice opportunity to be part of uh, Devonshire Road School as well. So if you see the office, if you'd be interested in sparing uh, 30 minutes to an hour each week. And this is our homework grid. So reading, as I mentioned, is 15 times, 15 minutes, sorry, a week. Um, for three, at least three times a week and we've got NumBots as well which is an app um, which is good for practicing number bonds and um, different ways of making number addition and subtraction. Also as we get into the summer term we move on to TT Box Stars and we start learning the times tables and there's spellings, we've got EdShed um, where the weekly spellings that we send home on paper they can also access games to practice those and we'll have Maths and English, it says in a homework book, but actually it'll be a sheet. Um, and if they could bring that in at some point the week after, we'll do that at home. 
And just a quick look at our vocabulary overview. So this is just for the autumn term, um, just because vocabulary is such an important um, aspect of learning at Demetri Road School. We look at words in all the subjects, but we have at least three words we focus on as well um, in class. And these are the type of words that we'll be learning. Okay, so this is our website, what it looks like when you go on it. So I'm going to talk a little bit in a minute about the curriculum. Um, that's where you'll find the curriculum layers, so where the arrow is pointing down to curriculum. Um, and then we'll look at a page where you can see any up and coming events for the school um, and then our learning zone as well. Um, there's lots of other information on our website. Feel free to have a look around. It's a really good website. You'll see lots of different pictures of children on there and things that we get on with. Okay, so here's our curriculum um, layers page. Um, obviously, you'll be interested in the year two, and then you can go down as well and look at our knowledge organisers. So it's all information about our different curriculum subjects, and you'll see exactly what we'll be teaching the children. So this is the upcoming events page, and as you can see, this is where we put everything that's going on in school. So it's really good information, and you'll find out everything that's going on. Okay, so there's lots of different ways that we can communicate with you at home and you can find out what's going on in school. Obviously, there's the website. Um, we do have a Twitter page as well, which you can link to from the website. Um, but also, on top of that, each year group has their own Twitter as well. Um, and it's um, it's focused on that year group and what, what's been happening. So you'll see, we try to update it every week and you'll see, you might see pictures of your children, um, what we've been doing, things we've been doing, um, activities, games. Um, loads of things. So it's really nice to see what children are up to. Um, here is the learning zone. So this is where you can access all of the websites that will help your children learning at home. So Spelling Shed, our Time Table Rockstars is where you'll find Numbox as well um, and there's some other different websites on there that we recommend you look at as well. Okay, so um, this is the school app. Um, we highly recommend you download it. Um, you can go to the Apple Store or Google Play Store. Uh, it's free to download and you just need to select Devonshire Road as the school. So if you have this app, it will mean that all notifications, emails, texts, things that we send to you will all, you'll get a notification on your phone and it'll be right there for you so you won't miss anything. Okay, so online safety is a priority for us in school. It helps us to keep your children safe. We teach the children um, how they can keep themselves safe when they're online. Um, we can't hide the online world from children, but we can do what we can to protect them. Um, and we want you to be able to be armed with all the up and coming information to keep children safe at home as well. So if your children are accessing YouTube, if they're accessing Facebook, Instagram, anything like that, um, this website, um, the National College, it's a resource that we subscribe to that will help you support your children at home and it's got all the up-to-date information. Okay, so just a reminder about the importance of attendance. Um, so school, the school doors open um, at 8.45 and they're open till 9 for your child to come in. Um, and we set an EMT, an early morning task, um, which is, you know, children can recap key knowledge, um, um, or they might have some learning to practice from the day before and it's really important that they're in to complete their early morning task. Um, at 9am the registers close, so that is when we will close the door in year two. So if you come to year two, drop your child off and see the doors closed, you need to take your child around to the office and they'll be late um, and they would get a late mark. If it's after five past nine, it would be an unauthorised absence for the morning session um, and then there's a little information there about interventions so if your child is after five past nine at least five occasions um, for a half term our learning mentor Mrs Hall will work with you to support the family um, because it's so important you know that your child has good attendance um, if your child is not able to attend then you need to ring the office in the morning please okay and here is a little bit about the uniform we wear at Devonshire Primary School. So it's important that um, children have a smart uniform so they're ready to learn. Um, gives them a sense of belonging and being part of our Devonshire Road school community and being the best we can be. So white polo shirts or white shirts 
uh, and then it'd be grey skirts or grey trousers, grey pinafore when it's a little bit warmer. Um, your child might wear a blue gingham dress. Um, if they have got hair accessories, if they could be blue, that would be good. And also footwear, sensible black footwear, no trainers. And then it's the royal blue colour jumper, so you can get choose to get one with the logo on, but plain jumpers and cardigans are also fine. And onto our pee kit. So black shorts, please, and black pumps or plain trainers and a plain white t-shirt. And then, as Mr. Zachary said, we do go outside to do pee as well. So if your child could have a zip-up top or a hoodie and then plain black jogging bottoms or leggings or similar. Um, and please, can you make sure everything has got your child's name on because there's a lot of children obviously across the year group and things can get lost and it's much easier to get it back to the belong the person it belongs to if it's got its name in. Okay. Okay, so what your child needs in school. Um we say that every child needs to bring their reading book and reading record into school and we need that in every day. We don't know when your child is going to read with an adult. It could be every day, it could be every other day, but as long as it's there and we've got it and we can also check that they're reading at home. Um, that needs to come into school in just a small flat book, uh, book bag. Um, you can get them from the school uniform supplier, I believe. Um, also, they need their PE kit in school. That can be in a carrier bag, it can be in a tote bag, a drawstring bag, um, and that needs to be in school. We keep it in school for the term and then we send it home at, in, the, in the holidays to be washed and then it comes back again. Um, we are saying in year two that we would like no rucksacks. Um, we just don't have the space to store them in class. That that goes for rucksacks for their school bag and rucksacks for their PE bag. But our lockers are just too small really for rucksacks. Um, we'd like everyone to have a named water bottle, um, and we ask for you to just send them with just water um, and not juice if that's okay. Um, a healthy snack is an optional um, item. We do provide a snack at break time, usually a bagel or toast, um, but if you want to send a snack in with your child, um, you're welcome to, but it must be a healthy snack. Um, obviously a coat, and again, can we ask that it has its name in it? Um, you wouldn't believe what lots of children have the same coat, um, and if they don't have names in, then obviously they get muddled up, and we understand that they are expensive, and we don't want you to lose your child's things. Um, and then obviously weather dependent things, so maybe if the weather's really nice and sunny like it has been recently, a sun hat, um, or in the winter obviously gloves and a warm hat. Um, and please we don't need any toys or stationery, we have everything that we need for learning in school. Okay, and our last slide, just a little bit of information about our governors. So they play an important role to help school be the best it can be. Um, so they support the school making decisions um, about numerous things, they come and visit school as well uh, and support us and it's a critical friend to the staff and the leadership team. So on this slide there are a picture of some of the governors and if you look on the website you'll find more information there as well. So thank you so much for listening to our meeting and watching our Meet the Teacher meeting. Bye. Bye. <laughs>